so far I'm seeing in this spot where tubes make an enormous difference and they're worth every penny. So I wanted to give you a quick update on some of the trees that I planted. This is a spot I kind of clear cut a little spot here. If you'll remember, that was the wicked looking um, locust tree, honey locust that I cut. Let me zoom in a little bit. With the thorns, girdled that. And then in here, I kind of did an experiment with these persimmon trees to see if they would grow without the tubes and I, I think there was like 12 or 13 in here but all these ones here they've been kind of nipped and I imagine there are deer that have done that perhaps rabbits but I think it's deer and there's another one up here but I did put put two in tubes here and here that I'll show you here in a little bit but something interesting in this area here I noticed there's a bed right here a deer bed I think it's probably a doe but it's a nice spot you've got all this cover here from these down trees through this grass um, and then there's another one on the other side and you got some shade here from this tree backdrop and uh, a lot of protection so that's pretty neat there but these are these if you see these berries you hear me talking about the Russian autumn olive and how they spread as the birds eat the berries and then poop them out and more grow and more grow and more grow and eventually they crowd everything out. Another one there. But anyway, I guess I'm getting past my point here. I'll show you another one of these. The, Every one that I've seen so far of these persimmons has been like this where the deer have kind of nipped it and they'll just continue to nip it and it won't grow very much and eventually I imagine it'll die unless it gets some reprieve but let's go over here where I've got these tubes ow I didn't pick a very good spot to go here I'm going through thorns ow But by next year, I'm sure a lot of this will be brush. And even more forage for, for the deer, because it's not all up, excuse me, it's not all up above them. But, so here we're coming, coming on these tree tubes. And as you can see, these ones are growing out. And that is over there. So that's pretty cool to see. That's a pretty significant dis difference. Between tubes and not tubes. You know, having the small ones versus these that are already growing out. So um, hopefully by next year, it'll kind of be above any potential browse line of deer. And uh, yeah, they'll be off from there, and in a couple years we'll take off these tubes. So, um, so far I'm seeing in this spot where tubes make an enormous difference, and they're worth every penny. But, uh, you know, in other spots they may not. Uh, I noticed in another spot when I was on the tractor I stopped where the weeds had grown in the tubes and choked out the tree. So, you know, you do have to keep up with them. But I just wanted to show you this. I thought it was pretty interesting. So I'm going to go uh, check some tail trail cameras and perhaps some more tubes along the way. But thank you all for watching. So here's a quick look at one of the chestnut trees. I took the tube off this so we can see it better. It's not quite out of the tube. Um, and then I went over there and checked that one. And that one had a bunch of weeds in it that were kind of choking it out a little bit, so I removed those. This one wasn't too bad, but I just wanted to show you. This is one where the bugs were eating some of the leaves, I believe. So I sprayed it a little bit. 
Don't look too bad. So that looks healthy. So another one for the tubes doing well. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course tap that bell button for notifications of future videos. Thanks.